what you eat actually changes how your tendons recover and get stronger. This is actually part three of a three-part series. I did an interview with Eric Horse and it was fantastic. Way too much information to cut down. I had to split it into three different videos. So if you haven't seen part one where we talk about the science of tendons and climbing, and part two, we talk about the physical aspect, how you can recover from sore tendons and what you can do to get them stronger. In this video, we're going to talk about what you eat, specifically super collagen, which we will get into in this third part of the interview with Eric Horst. Now let's talk about the nutrition because there's some excellent research by uh, Dr. Keith Barr out of UC Davis and a couple of other um, research centers as well. Uh, that work with athletes um, and rehabs from injuries like knee surgery and such. Uh, and they've experimented in the lab and with athlete case studies with certain nutritional interventions that can support the recovery. Like with muscles, we know very well, it's widely accepted that uh, consuming um, protein that's high in the branch chain amino acids uh, is excellent for muscle recovery. And so you do a hard weightlifting workout or climbing workout, and then you drink a whey protein shake afterwards or before bed that night, that's excellent for muscle recovery because those uh, branch chain amino acids are what really propel the recovery of the contractile fibers in the muscles. Well, connective tissues, they're made of protein as well, but they're made of um, two thirds of, uh, of the, the collagen in our tendons and ligaments is two amino acids, glycine and proline. And whey protein is actually very low in those two amino acids. Uh, and so it's important for, and this is TMI for a lot of people, but you know um, the amino acids that comprise protein in our foods, uh, the individual amino acids are in different proportions in different foods. And so whey protein's high in those branched chain amino acids, great for muscle recovery, but the glycine and the proline, the two amino acids that comprise much of our connective tissues is in very low amounts in a lot of foods. Um, Plant-based foods and even you know, milk-based products aren't so high in those amino acids, glycine and proline, but meat is. Well, a lot of climbers don't eat a lot of meat. I, I don't eat a lot of meat, just a few pieces per week. Um, the, the richest food, like normal food, uh, in terms of glycine, is pork. Uh, so if a climber ate three servings of pork every day, that would be a really good thing for their connective tissues. But who's going to do that? Um, you know, that's not realistic. Mm -hmm. Well, something like this, um, this is supercharged collagen by Fizzy Vantage, is hydrolyzed collagen. This is literally the richest, in terms of foods that have those two amino acids that comprise uh, ligaments and tendons, this is the richest food on the planet, literally, even better than pork. Um, and you just put a scoop of it into water or juice um, or any other beverage and consume it. And you get this, uh, uh, you basically introduce this spike of glycine and proline, those two key amino acids into your bloodstream where you know they can be utilized then by connective tissues. And again, the connective tissues get fed by that loading process. So kind of the bottom line here is that if you consume this or something like it, I, I think there is no, this product has no peer, but there are kind of some knockoffs or similar products out there. Um, if you consume this product one hour before you load your tenons, that is actually the evidence-based way to best support collagen synthesis in your tenons and ligaments because you get the uh, glycine and the proline, those two key amino acids into your system circulating around your body. And then you load the body part you want to become kind of targeted. So if you're recovering from ACL surgery in your knee, you would consume this product. And then an hour later, you would do jump rope or you would do your knee rehab. Or in the case of a finger injury, a sore finger, or just a healthy climber that wants to be really proactive, which is what I do and thousands of other people do is they, they consume this an hour before they go to the climbing gym 
or they put it into a shaker bottle and drink it during their warm up at the climbing gym or at the crag so that they get that spike of those amino acids into their bloodstream as they begin to climb. And there you kind of meet that goal of coupling the nutrition and the loading together, which has been shown to give optimal results. People want to learn more if they go to fizzyvantage.com and perhaps you can put a link to this somewhere. Uh, fizzyvantage.com is actually my company that I founded three years ago. It was founded basically so that I could produce this product for climbers. I kind of did the research over the last five years and um, began to use it myself and my family of climbers and my uh, um, clients, my training clients. Uh, and I was kind of, you know, making this stuff on my own for their benefit. And then I thought, you know, you know, this works not only in the lab, but it works in real life, in real practice uh, as we experienced. And then, so I founded a company so I could mass produce the product and make it available to climbers around, around the world. Uh, and so um, that's what I'm doing with Fizzy Vantage. And we actually have a growing line of nutritional products that I won't get into, but anybody that's interested in that kind of thing, they can check out fizzyvantage.com. And I, I always like to present, you know, very upfront, the caveat is that if you're not training right and you're not making an attempt to eat right, then nutritional products aren't gonna save you. You know, this is not a, uh, a magic bullet that makes up for bad training and bad diet practices. It's not, it's a waste of money in those situations, to be honest. But to someone who's really trying to do their best to train properly um, and trying you know, to have a, a, an excellent diet you know, that is well-rounded, whether it's you know, plant-based or not, doesn't really matter. You can put together a very healthy diet, but in doing that, you can then you know, even make things better with some supplemental products like the supercharged collagen before you train and a good whey protein, maybe before bed. Um, and so, uh, you know, I'm an advocate of trying to, you know, cover all your bases and hopefully uh, do things right. Needless to say, I super appreciate Eric's time. You were fantastic. Thank you for taking the time to interview with me. For everyone watching this video, check the description below for links to everything. A lot of times we talk about trial and error and injury, but there's actually talking about this now before you get injured is super crucial. So if you have a friend who's been climbing for a couple of months, maybe they're getting into harder routes, definitely send them this series because you wanna prevent injury before it happens, right? This is how you're gonna do it.